You're lying in bed trying to fall asleep and all you can hear is the clink of your dog's collar as he scratches and scratches and scratches. Or all you can hear are the obnoxious mouth sounds as he chews and licks anywhere and everywhere. He's itchy. He's trying to fix it. But why is he so itchy? Let's investigate. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Holmes and welcome to another episode of Pet Doc Sherlock, where we help people solve the mysteries of pets. And it's true that dogs scratch once in a while. I mean, people scratch once in a while. You get that itch in the center of your back that somebody helps you get and it feels oh so great. Or you have that itch inside your ear, you take a Q-tip and you gently roll it around and both of those situations will make the hair on your arms and back of your neck stand up because it feels so good. But what if your dog is scratching all the time and just doesn't seem to be comfortable? Well, there's several different things that can make your dog itchy to the point where they just won't leave their skin alone. And the very first thing that I look for when a dog comes into the clinic and is itchy are parasites, bugs. And the first one I'm looking for are fleas. Some people say, well, I've never seen a flea. My dog doesn't spend much time outside. And that may be true. Fleas are really hard to find. And if it's a choice between a person and a dog, the flea is going to choose the dog every time. Because dogs' body temperatures are higher than ours. They have more fur to hide in. So fleas prefer your dog. And if there's just a few around, you may never see them. But fleas can cause a lot of itchiness. And some dogs actually have an allergy to fleas, which is even worse than just a few of them crawling around on their skin. The other bug that we sometimes see with itchy dogs are ticks. If you live in an area where there's a bunch of different ticks, they crawl around through your dog's fur looking for a place to bite down and drink some blood, and that can be really itchy. I myself one time found five ticks on my dog after he was just in the backyard. So they're around and we need to be aware of them. And the other type of bug that can cause some itchiness in your dog are mites. This is often called mange, and most people when they hear the word mange, they think of a mangy mutt running around in the streets, but mange can happen to any dog, but primarily to dogs that have a weakened immune system. So younger dogs as their immune system is developing, and then other dogs that may have other skin problems or may have another disease that weakens their immune system. The two types of mites that we see most commonly are Demodex and Sarcoptes. Demodex lives inside of the hair follicle, which is part of the skin that grows hair. And so if your dog has a problem with Demodex, they'll start to lose their fur and their skin might become red and itchy. Typically this is around the eyes, on the paws, and on the inside of the legs. If your dog has Sarcoptes, they tend to show up around their ears. And so you'll see hair loss and dry skin and itchiness around the ears. And if you scratch their ear and their back foot moves like thumper, then they likely have sarcoptes. But all of these are easily prevented these days. If you keep your dog on a flea and tick preventive, like Brevecto, Simperica, Credilio, Nexgard, they all prevent fleas and ticks. And even though they're not labeled for them, they'll often prevent mites as well. But if your dog doesn't have fleas, they've been on a flea and tick preventive, your vet has looked for these bugs and hasn't found any, then there's something else that's causing your dog to itch. Sometimes it's just the fact that your dog is growing. I have tons of appointments for dogs that are roughly four or six months old, somewhere in that ballpark, and the owner says, all of a sudden they've started scratching more. If they don't have fleas, and I don't see any redness on their skin or any other indications of a problem, I usually just attribute it to they're a growing puppy. Puppy grows, puppies grow really fast. And so their hair is changing over from puppy fur to adult fur. Their skin is turning over even more quickly than normal because skin dies, and that's what creates a lot of dust in your home, actually, is dead skin cells. But um, their skin is changing over, and so they're more prone to dry skin, and they might scratch once in a while. So if I don't see any issues with the skin itself, I'll tell people just to keep an eye on their puppy, watch for redness, watch for irritation. But unless you see that, they'll likely grow out of it. 
something else that a dog could be dealing with is a skin infection. Especially during the summertime, as it gets warmer and the humidity increases, dogs like Labs and Golden Retrievers with really thick, dense fur can develop what we call hot spots or moist dermatitis. This is where the area right around the skin gets a little bit humid, a little bit moist, and maybe they have an abrasion on their skin, they scratched it, and the bacteria and yeast that are always on the skin just kind of go down into the top layer and develop an infection. These infections can be very itchy, and they can be really nasty and cause this kind of oozing that clumps the fur together and prevents air from getting down in there. And we as vets need to go in and shave that area to allow it to dry out and send you home with some antibiotics and some medication to stop the itchiness. But if there's not an obvious skin infection, your dog's not a puppy who's growing, and there aren't any mites present, but your dog's chewing their feet and scratching and scratching at their ears, your dog might have allergies. Yes, dogs can get allergies, and they can get allergies to a lot of different things. It could be trees, grasses, weeds, dust mites. Can't get rid of those. It could be something in the food, which is less common than environmental allergies like the ones I just mentioned, but food allergies are usually the protein source usually chicken or beef. Dogs can have allergies to corn, wheat, soy, and a couple of other things, but those are much less common. It's more common for them to have a protein allergy, an allergy to the chicken or beef. So looking at what your dog's eating and don't forget about the treats they're getting is important to see if chicken or beef is a component. Allergies can be very complicated and very tricky to deal with, so I always tell people if I think your dog has an allergy, this is probably going to be a fairly long road before we can figure out exactly what's going on. Some dogs you can get them to uh, be perfectly normal, other dogs you try to get them to the least amount of itch possible, and sometimes you have to go visit a dermatologist to really figure out what's going on. If none of these seem like they're factors, then there is the rare occasion that dogs just chew and scratch themselves out of pure boredom. Usually though, a dog will choose one spot to chew and lick. It's usually kind of right near their front foot. Um, they can create a little area that they've licked the fur off of and they create what we call a lick granuloma where the skin is really thick where they've been licking. And sometimes that's just an anxiety or boredom behavior. So we need to rule all those other things I just talked about out before we decide, yep, this is more anxiety or boredom and talk about ways to keep your dog from being bored and release their energy both mentally and physically and address anything that may be causing them anxiety. I know this was a quick bullet point version of things that can make your dog be itchy, but they're all important things to think about, and most of them require your vet to take a look at your dog to figure out exactly what's going on and figure out the best medication for fixing these issues. As for allergies, like I said, they're complicated. They're in-depth. So I'm going to do a full article and a full, full video covering allergies, the types of allergies, what we look for, how we treat it, etc. Um, at, at a later date. It should be in the near future, but I hope this video at least has given you some things to think about, giving you some options as to why your dog might be scratching themselves more than they should. If this video was helpful, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to hear more about pets, what they do, how to care for them, then please click that subscribe button. I have an article about itchy dogs on my website that's a little more in depth than this video, so click the link below. And as always, keep your pets happy and healthy.